Welcome to the Film Junket Podcast. What's happening, guys? Dave Film Junkie here. Do I have a theme song finally? Yes, I think I do. Something, right? I think I put something together. In the future. Yes, that's right. If uh, there is a theme song before this episode of the podcast, the Film Junket podcast, thank you for clicking in. It's because I put it together the next day. That's right, because I'm, I'm recording this Tuesday, or not Tuesday night, Monday night. Uh, I'm off work tomorrow, so I thought, oh yeah, I could finally get that theme song going on for my damn podcast. Hey, look at that! There's a Justice League TV spot going on right now. Monday Night Football is happening. November 17th. Oh, oh, some new footage. Some new footage in this TV spot here, guys. Oh, I saw... Oh, 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 is eh, eh, more, more of the history. Oh, oh, yeah. There's some different stuff. I'm rich. Okay, we got that part. What's going on here? Look at that. Just a tidbit more. Nothing too drastic. Oh, we'll do some more talking about this, though, guys. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you for clicking in. Welcome to the Film Junkie Podcast. Um, if you're new to my little podcast here, it's just me talking shit. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have people on here. Um, I've talked to, I've been on other podcasts, and I want to get those people on this podcast and, you know, just talking to people in general. Anybody who wants to join in on a podcast, I'm going to eventually start bringing on people. Um, just right now, it's just, tr- I'm just trying to get every, just trying to get shit dialed in, man. I'm, I'm telling you, with, with, life and stuff going on and me trying to figure out certain things you know i just you know just taking it and you know basically when it when it comes down to it guys this is this is this is the thing i mean you you guys know generally most of my content has been about justice league of course for the past like few months obviously because i'm a big dc fan and everything and uh so once justice league comes out we have over a year till the next dceu movie okay so things are going to suffer a little bit. I mean, I hope you guys will still stick around and listen to me talk shit. <laughs> he got another touchdown. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm fucking cursed. I'm cursed. Sorry. Uh, another thing about this podcast, I go off on tangents. Okay, this is the thing, guys. I'm in fantasy football in my uh, my family league. You know, I enjoy football. I don't really necessarily have a team or anything. Last year, when I did fantasy football for the first time, I won the whole effing thing. That's right. This year, I am dead last, and it's just nothing but just cursed. Like, I've been able to call the fact that, oh, yeah, I guarantee you this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. And for the past two weeks, I have made the right calls. Yes, last week I barely got beaten by my nephew, and I called it. I even said, I like, watch, you're going to win somehow. And sure enough, he did by like 0.7 points. I'm playing my brother this week. I had him, and his tight end is playing in tonight's game, who has not scored a touchdown all season, has scored two touchdowns this game. This is why I don't gamble anymore. <laughs> The last time I was in a casino, I swear to God, I sat down to play blackjack. Five hands lost all five. I don't know what's going on, guys. I have some kind of hex with shit. But now I'm going to be one in six in my fantasy football league. Dead last. That's awesome. Anyways, guys, don't mean to talk about that. Anyway. <sighs> so what were we talking about before that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. We're talking about, you know... I mean, it's just it's just what happens. It's what happened after uh, Batman vs. Men, after Suicide Squad. You know, I mean, basically, you know, my content, you know, deals with mainly DCEU stuff. So once that all settles down, it's like, oh, shit. Oh, man, everything's going to take a dive. So I'm going to be uh, hopefully bringing some people on the podcast to talk about you know, some stuff and hopefully do it more frequently. And then I'm going to be bringing back old segments that I had on my channel before. And just, you know, try to keep uh, the pirate ship going. And I appreciate you guys listening. Help me out. Um, you can help me out, too, by picking up a shirt. I'm going to talk about that because I would say that that's my only sponsor. Isn't that, isn't that how some of these guys do it? They have sponsors. I don't have any sponsors, and they start announcing it. My sponsor is Teespring. Okay? Check down below or go to Teespring Film Junkie Closet. 
that's where my shirts are. I've designed some more shirts in there. I did uh, a couple more. Um, was it a couple more? I did one, uh, a Green Lantern shirt. I just... I just did a Green Lantern shirt, and that's right. I updated uh, the Super Wonder Bat shirt, the Trinity shirt. Um, but, yeah, I did a, a Green Lantern shirt that I kind of took the idea of cops, since they're space cops, and kind of converted this cops logo, put the Green Lantern logo in there, and then drew my little minimal designs for Hal and John. Yeah, that's right. If you if you actually notice, my designs are pretty much the same. I mean, I don't, I'm not that much of an artist. I know AutoCAD because that's what I use at, my, at work and my normal work. And, uh, you know, so sometimes I'll just be like, you know, it could be just a little slow, which is one of the reasons why I'm not working tomorrow is, uh, you know, I, so I'll just sit there and just kind of drop some shit. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually working on an Iron Man one because I'm going, okay, I have too much DC. I need a freaking, I need to get some Marvel stuff in there too. And, and, uh, I have, a, I have an Iron Man shirt. I already designed one before, but it was actually him, like, dreaming of being armored batman because we all want to be armored batman right now nah, even iron man now nah, he doesn't um no but um so i drew his head already so i was going out I, I need to use this for something so i'm trying to figure out something for it you know and with me i always try to i always try to make the, these elaborate like sh these elaborate shirts i don't know what it is about me i'm the Zack snyder of shirts guys because i have multi-layers and I, and I feel like I have to explain because I, oh yeah, I made a, a Star Wars shirt before that, that, that tied to Talladega Nights, <laughs> Star Wars and Talladega Nights, guys. That's right. I combined the two and put it on a shirt because that's just what I do. And, I, and it's just funny because it was only like one person I knew that would actually get it. And you know, the line in Talladega Nights, if you're not first, if you ain't first, you're last. So I thought, well... If you ain't first order, you're last Jedi. <laughs> and then I even went a step further and I put a decal on the back that said uh, Dagobah Knights, the Ballad of Lukey Sky. That's right. <laughs> and nobody's bought it yet. You could if you want to. You could. Before Last Jedi comes out, get that. It's unique. You'll, nobody will have that shirt. You know, I think it's a pretty decent design. If you're not first order, if you ain't first order, you're last Jedi. It's dumb. It's like a big dad joke. Uh, by the way, I'm drinking some vodka tonight. So, and I just drank the last part of it. I meant to refill it, and uh, I guess I'm not going to be able to do that now because I'm already recording. Anyways, guys, so who's uh, who's sick and tired of um, talking about run, 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 run times? Run times! Are we still talking about run times? Oh, my God. Yeah, we are. Oh, God damn it. I mean, hopefully, I think Wednesday, we're going to get the finally fully official thing, and we'll put it all to bed, and we won't even talk about Justice League run times anymore. And I'm, I'm just, I'm flat out sick of it, man, because, you know, Saturday was just, anno it was annoying. It was annoying on so many damn levels. It was annoying because the source was annoying the shit out of me, as well as um, some of these uh, toxic fans out there. But it sucks, too, because the guy fucking won't stop. He won't stop. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mr. Conrad. I'm going to say his name now. You guys already know what I'm talking about, because I've seen some people on my feed go, Jesus Christ, he's still talking about the runtime. Because he, he did some research, found it out, put it out there, and then got hassled by some DC fans, the, the worst of the worst, and, you know, the small, I mean, and this is what I've always talked about, I always screamed about, is that we always, we always, we always uh, talk about the small numbers. So we got like 0.001% of the DC fandom is going after this guy, and he's making it sound like it's the fucking whole side, it's the whole DC side. It's sad, and he will not shut up. Okay, I talked to him too. I, I did a follow-up video for my video because it's still retarded and stupid that he's he's got he got the FBI involved. Because um, I talked to him because he started mentioning about who it was, and I realized who it was, and and I even gave hints about who you guys thought it was. He's gone by many different names, but they've all started with an A: Andre, Adam, Alex, whatever you want to call him, doesn't matter. He's uh, gone after me. He said a bunch of bullshit. He's just fucked in the head. And apparently, I thought he was just some dumb kid. But somebody told me that he's actually like, he's got that Andy Malinakis kind of thing going on, I think. Because 
Apparently, he's like in his late 30s, early 40s, still living with his parents, which makes sense. So I'm just going, really, does the FBI really need to be involved because this guy's a moron? Ah, crap. Did I just mess up my freaking thing here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We good? We good? I just bumped the cord. You know, sometimes that clicking sound starts happening if something goes on. I think we're good. I don't see any little little niches here in my little recording, so we should be all right. But hopefully it'll stay like that. Anyways... Yeah, so he told me that, and so I did apologize to him for, okay, well, if you're going to actually try to go after this guy and get it done with, that's fine. I apologize for making a big stink. Of course, he didn't accept my apology. He read that and then just didn't respond, and to me, that's a very douchey thing to do. Even if, even if like, somebody pissed me off, if they apologized for something, I would accept it. No matter how much I was like still pissed off at the person, I'd be like, hey, you know, that's all right. I get it. It's fine. I accept it. But he didn't because he's a fucking douchebag. He is. I've been following him for a bit now, and uh, he's always lashed out on Star Wars fanboys, and uh, now he's just going to town on DC fanboys and DC, just the DC fandom in general, and he just will not stop talking about, and it sucks too, because once it finally gets released, he's just going to, I mean, he's going to pull, he's going to pull his shoulder, because first off, he's, he's kind of heavy, and he's going to pull his shoulder, patting himself on the back over and over again. And uh, it's just, it's sad. I wonder if he does this when he thinks that, I, I, I don't know if he's married, but I think he is. Um, when he fucks his wife and he thinks he fucked her good, does he like go like for like, like five days straight, just like patting himself on the back? Like, yeah, I did you good, honey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Victory. God, it's so sad. And I hate to say it. And it was funny too, because I was explaining it to my friend, you know, talking about these, these these uh, blogger guys out here who end up being big douchebags and, you know, sexually harassing women and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, they, they all look the same. They're lame, heavy set white dudes with facial hair. Guess what this guy looks like? <laughs> it's just like, good Lord. Ah, and it sucks. I really would love it. I would love it. I would absolutely love it. If the runtime ends up being like two hours and 20 minutes or something like that, which is what I wanted it to be. Just so he would have a meltdown because he was having a meltdown on Saturday and it was it was sad. It's sad. And I know I love it. I'm like, oh yeah, you involved the FBI, I got death threats and stuff like that. The next day he was at fucking Disneyland. He was at Disneyland, he was posting pictures from you know, because he was going on the uh the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Yeah, he's he's so scared. No, I mean I mean I but but then again, I'll give him the benefit that he was trying to just get that one guy to finally stop his reign of trolling terror and again it's just like if you if you don't know how to deal with trolls now you, you, like you, you you suck you're dumb you know and it's gonna get the best of you and you're just gonna look even stupider and it sucks that that uh he's using this to basically throw the whole dc fandom under the bus you know into the shit into the shit as Nick Nolte would say. Um, and it sucks that he's still going on and on. And then as soon as the official runtime, he's going to be like, I don't know. I gotta, I'm got to. i going to probably troll him. He'll block me that day because I'm going to do. I'm gonna say something that, it, that it's just going to. I'm going to do something because I know he's going to act like a dick. But I got to troll him just right. So I got to wait and see what that's going to be like. So be on the lookout. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'm going to say something or do, you know, it's going to troll him the way he's going to be gloating. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be uh, funny. But uh, uh, I'm sure the the Batman on film guys love this guy, too. I mean, he fits. He fits. He looks like Jet. <laughs> he looks. They look alike. Older, mushy, chubby, white dudes with fucking facial hair. But uh, Jet's a little more gray. Uh, if you look at his stuff, he's also got a really hot wife. Apparently, he had to put that on his bio, which just shows you right there. Man, <laughs> you know, when I got into this stuff, I mean, I knew there was going to be these dick, and I've been saying it for I've been saying it for a while too. Um, that these guys, I mean, when they were younger, they were bullied, picked on, they were the nerds, and blah blah blah. And uh, so now it's their time to be the assholes, the bullies, you know, and blah, 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 and just kind of just talk themselves up because they didn't get to do that. Apparently it's that, it's that Napoleon complex kind of thing. I mean, I guess I didn't get it because maybe, uh, the only time I was bullied was when I was really, really little when I lived in Alabama. That's right, guys. I lived in Alabama. I'm an army brat, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that before, 
So we moved out around a little bit. But uh, I did get bullied when I was there. When I was like in second grade, maybe third grade, I don't know. But when I moved to California and pretty much stayed, never got bullied. Never got bullied. And, you know, I was a dork. But I had friends who were dork, but uh, dorks, but I just, I was kind of still part of like, uh, part my, my group in junior high and high school, it was kind of crazy because there was popular people and there wasn't popular people. And it, it was weird. We had a nice little group. We had a nice little mix, little uh, intellectual diversity, <laughs> which a lot of people hate. It's all about skin color and fucking genders and shit. Who cares about, you know, thinking? Um, no, but it, I had a very, you know, yeah, like I was friends with like the nerds, like the nerd, nerdy guys. I was friends with them, but I was also friends with popular people. So maybe that's why I just didn't get picked on. And I was just like the stupid, funny kid of the group, I guess you could say. So, yeah, so it's just these guys, I don't know what it is. It's that Napoleon complex. They were just, it's their time to shine. I don't know why you'd want to do that. In this, you know, it's so funny because I get trolled. I got trolled tonight with one of my tweets. And I retweeted it and I just turned in. I trolled him. I'm telling you, it's just like a comedian dealing with a heckler. You have to develop that muscle. And let's face facts. If you look at these guys, they don't have muscles. They eat a lot of pastries. <laughs> a lot of fucking uh, uh, burgers, maybe. I don't know. It's just dumb, dude. It just it just upsets me because, you know, he's gonna end up he's gonna be right, and he's just gonna be put himself on. A, I don't know. I gotta troll him pretty good, and then, uh, you know, maybe I'll send him a message since we already have a direct message thing going. But yeah, he's a he's a douchebag. What 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 can he do? You know, it's just that's just the the mo of some of these guys. Anyways, um, yeah. So a lot of you too, a lot of you guys too have been um asking me about. Uh, am I going to get a press screening to Justice League? Am I finally going to... Is Film Junkie going to finally get a press screening? So then I can have a review ready for the embargo to lift and post it and be like, yay! You know, uh, I've only been in one advanced screening this year and uh, I'm hoping to get this one. So what's the status on that? It's looking pretty decent. Um, I made contacts with somebody who gave me email addresses and stuff. So I've been sending emails and I finally got a response. Uh, it was basically the girl who handles Warner Brothers stuff. She goes, you know what? I'm going to incorporate so-and-so in our digital media platform for this. So she would be able to help you out more than me. So I was like, cool. And then when I was driving home from work, bam, I got, I got an email from this lady. And she, go, and she actually told me that there's no screening scheduled yet, but she will let me know. So I haven't gotten a no because I was worried that I didn't I didn't have enough of a, a following or a fan base or views on my stuff. But I basically just took a screenshot of the last three months, how many views I've had, you know, and it was a pretty nice number. It's not a, you know, I'm, I'm doing, for being a small channel still, you know, I'm doing fairly well with it. You know, it's not, it's nowhere near to the point where I can live off of it, which is what I'm trying for. But it's just, it's, 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 you know, it's still still pretty good it's still decent it's decent for where i'm at right now you know so she didn't say no i sent the screenshot of my stats with uh both of my channels and my website and she didn't just flat out say nope or just ignore me she just flat out said like hey i'll let you know of course who knows she could have just been nice so i gotta still keep tabs on when these damn screenings are going to take place so then i can if i don't hear from her i can email again and then hopefully <coughs> Hopefully, uh, see that damn movie, Jace, and then hopefully get future press screenings, which would be nice. The only thing that sucks is, you know, having this day job, and usually these screenings are on, you know, they're not on the weekends, never, always on weekdays, so, you know, it's just rough because I live in Southern California, I mean, I had a chance to go to a, a screening for something before, and the fact that I, I kind of found out what it was before you know i just decided not to do it because i was like well you know i'm gonna hit traffic going this way and then tra you know it's traffic in southern california worst traffic ever we don't know what the hell we're doing over here it sucks and it was 104 degrees today jesus christ it's october right 
Yeah, a lot of people are going, what the hell, it's October. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I, I would I would totally be with you, but there's been other years where it's been 100 degrees in October before. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, then it gets political. Oh, fucking global warming, man. Oh, jeez. Okay, we get it. You don't have to turn into that. God, what are you doing to freaking help the situation? You're still driving a, a gas guzzler, asshole. Are you recycling? No. I didn't think so. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm telling you, the loudest voices aren't doing anything. The loudest voices should be driving Priuses. I'm just saying, you know. Um, anyways, I'm not going to get political on here. I know sometimes I get political because I try. You know what? When it comes to that, guys, you know, I'm sorry. It's just you see parallels. You see parallels. I try not to get political because I know you don't want to hear it. I don't I don't want to talk about it either. And, you know, it sucks when I discuss things with people and or discuss things in general because I get I mainly always get deemed a Trump supporter, Nazi sympathizer or something like that. You know, and it, and it sucks that, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I, I look at both both sides and see the, the ridiculousness on both sides. And then, I you know, and it's it's almost similar to what's going on when in the fandom, too. It's. You know, certain people are deemed this and that, and it's just, you know, for there was a while there where people were DC people were being compared to as Trump supporters and neo Nazis, and it, it was funny because I saw a bunch of people. I can't believe I'm being compared to a neo Nazi. I'm like, well, that's how, how. How does it feel? I've been compared to that without all this shit. I just just because of how I look at things. I'm like, oh yeah, you're a Nazi or a Nazi sympathizer. It's really ridiculous. Anyways, let's not talk about all that. Um, let's uh, let's let's recap. Let's do a little recap. When I talk about recap, I look at this channel, of course, that this will be on, and of course, I'll have this on SoundCloud if you want to just download it. Um, I mean, on my my news news channel, just put the normal stuff, you know, nothing. Oh shit, I just misspelled. I totally misspelled credit, and that video's been up for a while. Wow. Well, that's ridiculous. I was just talking about the runtime and the number of post-credit scenes in uh, Thor, which is only two, which is great. You know, I think Guardians of the Galaxy overdid it a bit. So, Gruden, John Gruden, he's he's a character. He's talking right now. I'm not. Yeah, I haven't muted. Anyways, um, let's see what's happening since uh since the last time I did. It. Okay, here we go. There's the last time. Last time I did a podcast, I did uh the the trailer breakdown for episode twenty. Uh, Martin Scorsese drops the mic on Rotten Tomatoes, which he did a good job with that. You know, it's a it's a double edged sword because there's good in it and there's bad in it, and um, there's. <laughs> There's bad, I don't know, I'm going to do a video about a certain thing that Marvel's doing that was kind of shocking to find out, like, wow, they do it They, they do it like that, huh? You know, um, I mean, like I said, there's good and bad, I've said it many times, it's like, you know, most time, most of the time, these critics are just going, okay, they're saying their stuff, here's the full review, but, you know, at the same time, is Rotten Tomatoes being fair at gauging whether it's rotten or not? Because there's been many times where... A rotten review looks like a positive, and a uh, a positive, uh, a, a fresh review looks like it's rotten. You know, so it's it's a little weird. Uh, the Ben Affleck, Harvey Weinstein bullshit. God damn. Well, luckily Ben Affleck's been he's been totally cleared. Um, even Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who was married to Hillary Burton, who was claiming the whole groping thing. Uh, he even said, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Neither did she. She deleted her tweets. I think she. I think he probably said, Hey, what are you doing? Because she did aid in like talking about it, saying that she was she was holding back from crying and that she remembered it and blah blah blah. But I think she finally realized that you know what he really didn't. Because if you look at that video, he didn't. You know, and then the whole other one, she came out. Yeah, I was having a discussion with somebody too that was like, well, no, they were making her look bad. I'm like, no. They, oh yeah, I admit they were blowing it up, but she was also aiding with it when she said that she was holding back from crying. It's like, shut up! You were not holding back from crying. You were being absolutely ridiculous. But the whole Harvey Weinstein thing, man. I mean, what I really want out of all this, out of all the bullshit, out of all that bullshit, 
first off, I want, you know, these, these actors need to get off their high horses. And it's just, I'm sick and tired of seeing the post like, oh, yeah, I had, an, you know, everybody's coming forward all of a sudden because we found out. It wasn't that they're just coming forward. It's because we found out. And, and But I get it. At the same time, I get it. I get the fact that they couldn't say anything because he's a powerful man. He's a powerful man in Hollywood. They want to keep their jobs and blah, blah, blah. But don't, but don't be, like, don't be Jessica Chastaining this shit. She is trying to make herself seem like she's just, she is on a pedestal. She's put herself on a pedestal. And sorry, fuck you, Jessica Chastain. As much as I enjoyed your movies and I thought you were a great actress, you're, fuck you for saying the stuff that you said that day. And just calling out the guys. Same thing with Rose McGowan. She defends Lindsay Lohan, who defended Harvey Weinstein, which just showed her agenda that she's just going after the guys. And that's just the way we, it is in 2017. It's all about the guys are scum. The guys are scum. You know, the guys are supposed to come forward and kind of protect, I guess you could say. But the guys are scum. It's a double-edged fucking sword, I guess, right? The guys are supposed to come forward and protect these actresses, but yet the guys are fucking scum. It's like, which one is it? Which one do you want to do? Do you want the guys to be a fucking pieces of shit, predators, or do you want them to be protectors? You know, make up your mind. You can't have fucking both. So that's why I'm not a Jessica Chastain fan anymore. Jesus Christ. So, but that whole thing, I mean, he, yeah, he was in, what, rehab for a week, and he's cured now. Bullshit, but whatever. He does have a sickness. And uh, what I really want for all this to, to lead to is all the pedophilia stuff. I want that to be exposed because that's always been talked about by child actors and actresses for years, decades. That needs to come out. Names. That's worse. And I know some of these fuck Rose McGowan are probably trying to turn it around to women again when it's like, no, grown adult women is being sexually assaulted. Yeah, that's bad, but it's worse when it's fucking kids. And I know like some of these fucking cunts, cunts out there will try to spin it back. It's ridiculous, and they shouldn't. It's, and, and you know what sucks is Corey Feldman is like the leader of this, and he's already fucking insane. He's insane, so people can't take him seriously. And guess what, guys? Did you hear? He got arrested for marijuana possession randomly. What? Corey Feldman, when he said he's going to expose the pedophilia in Hollywood, gets arrested for just marijuana possession. And I don't. it wasn't here. I think it was Louisiana. But over weed. Weed. Yeah. Something a little fishy about that. Little fishy. Little fishy. Um, we got the new Mutants trailer that came out. Well, when it comes to the whole, whole Harvey Weinstein thing, hey, start naming names. But nobody is. The actresses are coming out and they're still not naming names because they're still f- fearing that they're gonna their career is going to be... You know, I love it when, like, especially when these actresses, you know, like Jessica Chastain, yeah, Hollywood's just a racist, homophobic, sexist fucking industry. Well, why do you work for it then? If I worked for a company that was like that, I would quit. But you're not going to quit. Why? Because you're making millions of dollars. Don't be a fucking hypocrite. It's bullshit. But these na- these people need to be exposed. And she was like, oh, yeah, I knew from the beginning. Oh, it wasn't up to me. That's up to the victim. Fuck you. Get off your high horse, bitch. Sorry. I just, I was, I I couldn't believe it. Especially because I was a fan. I liked her. But the way that she just, just, ugh, ugh. And then again, you got to wonder too. It's like, how many of these actresses, how many of these actresses actually did it? Because we're only talking about the ones that are coming forward are the ones that he whiffed on. He The ones that he didn't, that he struck out, he didn't make it. He didn't get them to fucking watch him take a shower or jerk off into a plant. Yeah. Which are the ones that actually did it? And you know that's a common thing. You know how many times that's also been shown in like TV and movies and stuff like that? Where like girls sleep their way to the top. And you know that happens in Hollywood. And you know these, these actors are like, you know what, I just got to take one shot and that's it. Or I just got to rub oil on this guy's chest. I got to watch him shower. That's all I got to do. And I'll be fine. I'll be set. And you got to wonder how many of these actors are doing that. These these uh, virtue signaling how high, and, you know, high and mighty actresses. How many? Even the guys. You never know what they did too. Fuck. You just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Anyways, let's get off that. Um, New Mutants trailer came out. Pretty good. I'm looking really looking forward to that. Somebody gave me shit about how the MCU doesn't uh, take chances. And 
I was like, yeah, well, look at the Fox Marvel and look at D- the DC shit and look at some of the other CBMs. They're taking risks. Marvel created a cinematic universe, one of the first, and did a good job, but they have a formula and they have a way of doing things and that works for them. They're not taking risks. Thor Ragnarok, they could have taken a big risk and did a really dark Middle Earth type, you know, obviously you look at that first logo. That's what I explained in my video I posted earlier today. You know, you look at that logo and it could have been something like that. But no, they decided like, hey, let's let's just make it very aware of itself and almost a parody. And that's also brilliant. You know, that's what I said in that video. It's brilliant, but it's going to piss off Thor fans. <laughs> I mean, but they already pissed off Iron Man fans with Iron Man 3. Uh, DC Entertainment quote. Yeah, the Zack Snyder thing. That was stupid because it was basically the president was just saying like, yeah, you don't always agree with like the visions, but they didn't agree. They don't fully agree with Gotham, but it works with the 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 Berlanti Arrowverse, but it works. It's never going to be like how it is in the books fully. It's never going to be. And to be honest, when you talk about all the properties, guess what? <laughs> Zack Snyder has been more about the source material than anybody. Yeah, but he doesn't follow the source material, guys. I mean, Jesus Christ. They were just He literally like took storyboards and wrapped flesh and bone around them. Good God. Especially with Batman or Superman. Oh, it's so good. I just fucking got a, I don't know, I just got a semi right now. Black Panther official trailer came out. Looked great. Looked fantastic. I'm hoping that that's going to be up there with Winter Soldier. Very well looks like it. And a lot of people are hoping that it is. You know, and it's funny because, you know, it's DC fans is some sometimes they, they they'll get on my nerves too, guys. You know, the shills and even just regular DC fans, they'll get on my nerves because they'll totally just like pass on like anything Marvel, like you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and Spider Man. They were just like, fuck this movie, fuck that, which I enjoyed both. I mean, you know, I didn't enjoy Spider Man as much as other certain other Spider Man movies. Only like two others. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 wasn't as good as the first, yes, but I still enjoyed them. I'll still watch them, you know, but some people just totally just, that nah, sucks, fucking sucks, and they're doing the same thing with Thor, and I, and I like that. I'm like, let me, I'm going to give it a chance first, you know, before I make uh, any kind of judgments. But, uh, where was I going? Yeah, 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 but we just want, you know, but really what a lot of these guys just want or what a lot of these people want is just, you know, something different. Something different. It looks like Black Panther might be that. Uh, we got the solo title release, which a lot of people, of course, were like, fuck that, stupid. I'm like, really? What What'd you think it was going to be? <laughs> Did you think it was going to be, what, shooting first, the Han Solo sh- story? No. Is it going to be called I Know, the Han Solo story? No. <laughs> Come on. It was going to be solo. Always was going to be solo. Shut up. If you're not going to see the movie r- after you hear the title, no, you weren't going to see the movie in the first place. I'm still looking forward to it. More Star Wars. Ron Howard. Interested to see how it turns out. I'm very optimistic. Uh, and then, of course, talking about how Hulk landed in Thor Ragnarok, how it wasn't originally the idea. They changed the uh, Joss Whedon. Hey, look at that. Another Justice League TV spot. <sighs> I just push people. God. When they showed that Flash, the Flash footage, and you have Batman pep-talking Flash, that's what I'm all about right there. That is gonna. That's my favorite scene right now, and I haven't seen the damn movie. Jesus, I mean, God, to have him just pep talk him like that it was so awesome. Of course, we got a new Justice League poster. Uh, the Justice League Big Bang theory that they spoil Green Lantern. I don't think they really did because I don't think we're gonna get some Hal Jordan or John Stewart. I really don't. Th- you know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh yeah, I saw Only the Brave. It sucks that Only the Brave. Got uh just totally covered up. It's a it's a it's currently it was currently I don't I haven't checked lately, but it was certified fresh at ninety percent. Great cast. Um, I mean, with a little bit of the storytelling and trying to establish these characters, a little bit messy, a little bit quick. I'll give it that. But overall, like the film, it was a great film about heroism and everything. Sad story, and it got totally just covered up by Medea two, a man dressed in fucking drag again. And then Geostorm bombing. And people just kind of forgot. And not to mention, it was that and then Snowman being like one of the worst uh, reviewed movies of the year. Because apparently the director didn't shoot the entire script. That's what he said. It was really weird. So it sucks that Only the Brave just got totally just 
nobody even knew like that came out because of these shitty movies that came out too. I, I couldn't believe it. It pisses me off. <laughs> Hollywood's running out of ideas. No, you guys aren't fucking seeing these movies. I actually saw somebody on my feed go, hey, <sighs> there's a fucking, there's a movie drought till Thor Ragnarok. I'm like, you kidding me? No, you just don't want to see. This is why Hollywood doesn't want to make original movies. Because people are saying that kind of shit. And I know it's partly because, you know, ticket prices are expensive. So, of course, it's like families and some people are just going to wait for the big movies. Yes, that's part of it, too. But you know what? Crack open that wallet every now and then and go see a fucking movie. I don't know. I know people that still do that, too. But it's just the majority, of course, doesn't. Uh, by the way, guys, you can't watch Justice League and The Punisher at the same time because it's versus, versus, Justice League versus Punisher, an all-out pay-per-view event. Are you gonna, just going to watch? It's going to be commentated by Joe Rogan. No! Fuck you. I actually shot a video that's going to make fun of this. I'll probably upload it tomorrow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. It's really dumb. And then, of course, I talked about the Justice League runtime basically confirmed. And people are going insane. Yes. People are going insane, in, including Mr. Conrad. He was having a fucking meltdown that day. <laughs> I don't know why he has to, like, prove himself to just random people that he'll never meet on the Internet. I mean, how sad is that? That's that's one of the main things. It's like, you really have to prove yourself and just show and put your chin up high and be like, yep, that's right, I'm right, to dumbass people on the Internet that you'll never meet in real life. I mean, that's just sad. I mean, yes, I know part of this world is to try to get people to listen and read your shit. But to just, like, feel superior to people? I don't do that. And then when people troll me, and the whole death threat thing, I was having a debate with somebody who thought I was totally out of line. And they're going, no, no, every death threat should be reported. and But it's illegal and this, that, and this. I'm going, you'd be foolish if you, do, if you don't do that. I'm like, well, I guess I'm foolish because all the death threats I've gotten, I've never reported them. And guess what? I'm still alive because it's mainly bullshit. Bunch of fat fucks behind the goddamn keyboard, you know, reaching into that Cheez-Its box. And... <laughs> Mom, Hot Pockets, come on. You know I always want a hot pocket at 9 o'clock at night. That's all it is. This guy was making it seem like, oh, God. Yeah, he's, eh, it's just, it's just, it's bad all around. Um, yeah, Cyborg and Wonder Woman, they're the focus this week. They released Cyborg footage that looked great. Whew, so good. And then I just posted a video about uh, Just League 2 script. All in, already in development. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Flashpoint. I can't see it not being Flashpoint, guys. I just can't. I don't know. I, that's just me. Anyways, um, now to the questions. If you want to ask me a question, the best way to do it, easiest way I think, is uh, to just use the Film Junket Podcast hashtag and just hit me up on Twitter. So here we go, guys. Let me uh, answer your questions right here. Nasir, good old Nasir. I'm probably, and like I said, I always, I think I always mess up your name, and I always apologize. What characters are you most excited to see interact in the next two Avengers movies? Doctor Strange and Tony Stark, for sure, because I really, 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 really want them, somebody to say, no shit, Sherlock, and they both look at each other because they both have played Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I don't know. I just want something like that. Um, I'm also looking forward to, uh, let's see, who's also in there? I'm looking forward to um, Star-Lord and Tony Stark, Star-Lord and with everybody in general, pretty much. I kind of want to see what Drax as uh, how he interacts with everybody, too. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be pretty great. Um, Ant-Man, eh, I don't know. But mainly Stark and Strange. I really want to see that interaction. And we're going to see it because in in, the, in uh, Infinity War because we already saw set uh, images of them together. So that's going to be cool. Alex Bain asks, Do you think Disney will officially implement the Grey Jedi with Episode Eight? Namely for Luke, I hope not. No, don't think it's gonna happen. I no, I don't think they're gonna do the gray Jedi stuff. I don't. It just doesn't. No, I don't think that's gonna be the case. I don't think they need to do that. Um, it's still just gonna be the light and the dark, and it's gonna be a weird. It's gonna be weird to see what happens because those trailers, man, whew, intense. 
My good old buddy, James Bricknell, which I got to get on this podcast too, because we used to do a podcast about tech stuff, and now I got to get him on this thing. Why do people complain movies are too long? It's dumb. Stop it. I agree with you, buddy. If a movie can keep the pace, and there's movies that can, I mean, if we're talking about CBMs, Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition, three hours long, felt shorter than the theatrical two and a half hours. It's all about pacing. You know, if you could keep the pacing going, you're not going to feel that length. And I know he's referring to how, you know, things are going right now, you know, and stuff like that. So, no, I totally agree with you, buddy. You know, people shouldn't complain. If if the pacing is fine, then do it. You know, uh, Blade Runner 2049, two, two hours and 40 minutes. It didn't feel like it to me. It felt like it to my friend. She was totally bored out of her ass. I was totally engrossed into that world and wanting to see where what was going to happen. Uh, Density Dennis asks, now that we have somewhat of a confirmation of Justice League 2, can we assume Ben Affleck will stay as Batman? That would be such an easy gig for him. Because if it's Flashpoint, he won't have to really do shit. He would only have to show up on set for like a couple of days, few days. That's it. Because he's not Batman in Flashpoint. But you know what? I think he wouldn't want to pass up on the opportunity of having that dramatic scene at the end when Barry hands Bruce that fucking letter from his dad. Oh, God. I just got goosebumps, guys. Hairs on the back of my neck. Back of my balls are standing up right now, man. Jesus. So, yeah, I can't... I mean, first off, why would he want to pass up working with Matt Reeves after seeing what he did with Apes? And then if if Flashpoint is going to be Justice League 2, it'd be easy. He wouldn't even... He would have to be there for like four or five days. If that. It wouldn't even be a struggle for him. Great, right there. Jeffrey Dean Morgan would have to don the Batsuit more. Uh, David C. Datruff02. Best... John Carpenter film, Halloween, or The Thing. The Thing, no contest. Move on. No, just kidding. No. Now, The Thing is one of my all-time favorite sci-fi horror movies. It probably is my favorite all-time. You know, Halloween's good, too. I'm not saying, I'm not shitting on Halloween, but, you know. Okay, so Halloween is, you know, it's your normal, like, uh, your slasher flick, guy in a mask. Uh, people run away. He run, He walks really, really fast, apparently. You know, it's just that thing. Yeah, and it's good. It's creepy. It's, it's a classic, yes. But the thing, what makes the thing so special is not the... It, it, with the fact of, you know, everybody, you know, doing the whole who is the alien, who, who's not real, blah, 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 trend, that whole mystery, but the, the isolation, the isolation is part of it too. The Arctic isolation. Did I say isolation or isolation? I don't know if I'm even talking about that. You know what I'm talking about. The isolation is like the big factor of that whole movie because they are just so far away from anybody to help them and they got this alien that could take form of a human and it's cold. God damn it. That movie is just, just, it's just on a whole other level. And it was made in, what, 82, 83? And it still holds up. It still holds up. Still freaks the shit out of me. The practical effects they used in that were just phenomenal. And I even watched the behind-the-scenes thing. The guy who actually helped with all that, he almost had, like, a breakdown because he was working so much. And there was times where things fucked up, too. Yeah, it's nuts, man. So, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. The Thing is obviously the best Carpenter film ever. Even that soundtrack with the fucking synthesizer and the... It's just that boom, boom. That bass, boom, boom, boom. You know, that... Oh, God, it's so good. Boom, boom. Ugh. I want to watch that right now. I might. I'm going to work tomorrow. Uh, Diago, uh, Diego Diwali. Diego Diwali over here. Do you think good reviews for Justice League will praise Zack Snyder or they will say everything good is Whedon and everything bad is Snyder? <gasps> not all. Not all of them. But uh, the the one, the bloggy ones, the ones that absolutely have a bias against Snyder, yes. Oh, they'll do that just to piss off the trolls. They'll do that to troll. Just like uh, Mr. Conrad wouldn't shut up about the runtime because he's trolling back. Yeah, that's just the way it is. 
And then they'll play victim. What? I got all these fucking guys coming after me. It's like, yeah, you fucking started the fire, asshole. Just because it blew up into a blaze doesn't mean it's not your fault. <laughs> and that's the way, that's exactly what it's going to be. Ah, <sighs> Kathy Bell. She asked, uh, what? I haven't watched the TV flash. Do I need to before Justice League? No, not at all. That's a whole different world. It's a whole different world. Um, I'm still catching up on it. Um, I'm in, what, season three? The whole Flashpoint season. Uh, I just I just did all the crossover stuff. Um, catch the, caught, caught up on Arrow because, you know, they had this whole crossover invasion part with, uh, you know, Flash, Arrow, and uh, Legends. So basically when it reached that point, I went back and just started each one. So now I'm going to finish Flash, then finish Arrow, then finish Legends. But you do not need to watch any of that to watch Justice League. You just, just make sure you watch Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel, maybe Wonder Woman. Just make sure you watch those. Suicide Squad, I mean, I'm sure you, I'm sure you already have. But you don't have to watch Suicide Squad, really. Um, she also asks, also, any word on the press tour start for Justice League? Uh, it'll probably be two weeks. I would say two. Usually it's like two weeks or the week of the release. That's when they'll start doing press tour. I know they're going to be doing it overseas at first. And then they'll come over here. So, yeah, expect it like two weeks or a week and a half to a week before the movie comes out. Uh, James... Uh, 9002 asks, did you see this from Joss? Seems like he has no faith in his own work. What? I learned today that some people are, oh yeah, because he liked, he liked like someone's tweet that said something, yeah, it's only two hours. And he liked that tweet. So I don't think that's nothing. I don't think that has anything to do with like no faith in his work. I I just, he's probably just agreeing like, yeah, the movie's two hours. Get over it, people. (laughs) Uh, JGG, Bobby, bunch of numbers, um, asks, what are your top three comic book movies? Good Lord. Why do you do this? I'm actually going to make a video eventually, you know, because they're still coming out, you know, but you gotta, you better believe Dark Knight's up there. Logan might be up there. Um, even Avengers might be up there, you know? Uh, Batman or Superman? I it might be up there. I don't know if it's top three. And like I said, I don't know if any. I mean, Dark Knight's most likely in top three. Come on. Um, but it's I haven't. I have to like really give it a lot of thought. Avengers is just one of those. It's one of those movies that just like it just worked so well, you know, with Marvel's formula, you know, being like not dark, not. It's just in the balance of all the characters. It's just it's so pleasing. You know, the way that they balanced all the characters and everything. I mean, it was one of those movies that I would just put on. When I didn't have cable for a minute, I would just put it on. I was working just because there's just something about it. So, I'd have to actually think, like, what what would be my top three and what are the reasons why? You know? There's just different reasons why. Because, I mean, Avengers doesn't... Avengers and Dark Knight are just two fucking sides of the spectrum. And then you got Logan, same thing. You know, or Batman or Superman. They're just they're just different. Even Captain America Civil War. You know, there's, there's just differences. So, I can't exactly answer that right there. Sorry, bud. I'll do a video one of these days. Danny Neba... Ne- Neba? Uh, like I said, I'm bad with names. Will Warner Brothers release a final trailer of Justice League uh, weeks before release? I think they will. They won't. The last trailer we got, that's it. We're just getting nothing but TV spots and these individual character videos. I said this before, too. I'm like, no, there's th- this is it. Three trailers. Technically, we got four. You know, But that's just usually the formula. You got the teaser trailer and then the two official trailers. So, yeah, we're not going to get another one. Don't worry. We shouldn't. And if they do, that's stupid. Um, he also asks, whose storyline are you looking, uh, you looking to learn about more in Justice League? Flash. I rather have Flash. Well, he asked, he actually asked Flash or Cyborg. I mean, I'm looking forward to both, but I'm more of a, I've always been a Flash fan, you know, he was, he's pretty much, yeah, behind Batman is my fave. So definitely looking forward to see what they do with Flash. They just can't seem to get a blonde Barry Allen. What the fuck? That's all right. I'm over it. Um, Stuart Little asks, do you think the speculation from months ago about John Cleese being in jail holds water? Maybe in just a humorous cameo? Yeah, 
I don't know. I mean, I was really hoping he was going to be what's his nuts. Like, eh, you know. Um, hmm. I mean, yeah, he would. You would think it'd be a comedic role. I can't see it not being, but I don't know. Uh, he hasn't said anything since, so he might have been cut out. Apparently, Lex is cut out, and yeah, I'll talk about that. Uh, John Smith asks, I would love to hear your box office predictions for Justice League domestic worldwide total. Um, I think it'll open to 150, 140 to 150. I'm thinking. Um, hopefully that number is greater. Um, worldwide, it'll open up uh, even grander because they're not as stubborn, you know, and it's definitely going to hit the Chinese box office. Uh, overall, I think I don't think it'll hit a billion. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that's a hard fucking number to get, you know, and when you got these movies, you know, Temple movie, a Temple movie, you know, people just kind of like, eh, I, I don't think, I think it might hit the 900. It'll definitely be in the 800s again, like Batman or Superman, I think. But I don't think it's going to hit a billion. Then again, if the, if the, if the uh, reviews are stellar and it's a two-hour long movie, it might. I mean, it's smart. The smart thing about a two-hour long movie, guys, is more screens, more show times. So, and if we get an ultimate cut, guess what? I'm all about it because I can watch it at home with no pants on. So I keep saying. Uh, Abdu asks, I just want to ask, do you feel the Justice League movie will be longer than two hours or you think? I was really hoping, but it's just looking like it's going to be two hours. I mean, who knows? I've been talking to some people about, you know, who actually have seen the thing and they, I don't know, they, they have seen like secret screenings and, you know, there are certain things that they say that they didn't see. So I don't know if those will get added. I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Let's just be patient. It'll most likely we'll get the official runtime uh, Wednesday. So just be patient till then. And of course, you know, dick face is going to gloat. So just let it happen. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to troll him though. <laughs> I'm going to try to figure out some clever way to troll the motherfucker. Uh, he'll block me though. Cause that's what he does. Fucking pussy. Um, I've only blocked one person because he was just, he was creeping me out in my DMs. That's why. Other than that, I don't really give a fuck. Um, and it's funny too, because everybody, oh my God, I'm being harassed. And then it's just like, yeah, you have the block or mute button. Use it. You know? And it's funny because these same guys do use it, but they think it's like, there's time when guys still be harassed and attacked. Shut up. God. While the next day you're taking your family to Disneyland. Yeah, you're fucking so scared. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Anyways, all right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up real quick. I'm going to wrap it up real quick. I'm going to wrap it up right now. And I appreciate you guys listening. Uh, this will be up. Yeah, this will be up, and hopefully the new theme song is to look like that. Like I said, I'm going to hopefully do more of these and then have guests on. Uh, just, you know, be patient. I mean, it's a busy, It's it's been a busy couple of months, and like I said, now, now after Justice League comes out, and there's not going to be too much with that, I'm going to have more time to do other things, more time to do this, more time to do bring back segments like Casual Batman. I've been dying to bring him back. I'll definitely be bringing him back, and just other little segments too, and then maybe some new segments, you know? Keep this uh, damn pirate ship going. All right, guys. So I appreciate you listening. You guys are awesome. I love you with all my heart and from the bottom of my balls. All right? Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Talk to you later.